Hello, and welcome to another episode of Late Night Games. I'm your host, Paul, and once again, we are playing the Bureau, XCOM Declassified. So far, this game has been quite a pleasant surprise. I mean, I love the XCOM games, and it's got that whole strategy base, but it's more of a free-fire first-person shooter. So, where we are so far, the aliens have attacked. We are in the Illyrium Research Facility, and... Save it until we're out of here, Agent. We're on our way to get the commanders out of the war room. Let's move Agent, out. What happened to Agent Weaver? She headed towards the war room a little while ago. No word if she made it. She'll turn up. She always does. <clears throat> there they are. Down there, in the lab. What are they doing? Don't know, don't care. Get into position while they're distracted. Oh, we can go down the stairs. <clears throat> More of those little grays. Use your cloak. Cloaking. And then I want you to move. there I see it heading there all right guys go ahead in place, in place. Damn it. You are getting pegged apart out there. Um Get behind that. Move here. And then scatter them. Scatter on that spot. What are you doing, buddy? I want you to critical strike that hard. You get him, you got him flanked. Attack! Just watch me! Trying to flank me, bastard. That's the last of them. Good job, guys. Damn. That's it. Let's move on. I see why. Come on back, gentlemen. The bureau, Carter. He grew That's what I told him. That was fun. To Private Loss. William Carter is not to leave quarters unless in the custody of Lieutenant Garber Paul. Photographic identification of both Garber Paul and William Carter are included with this correspondence. These orders are the highest priority under another, no circumstances anyone other than Courier himself to manipulate, manhandle, or in other way come in physical contact with the case trusted to his charge. Okay. Radiation chamber. What did it look like upstairs, Nils? 
to look bad. What did this? Let's not find out. Just get to the war room, collect the brass, and get out. If any of them are left to collect. Forklift. I like forklifts. Engaging! Enemy! More artillery. We shouldn't feel it this far underground. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> See them? Get a shot off. Loading. I guess my squaddies have unlimited ammo. What were they doing with the Illyrium down here? Everything. Reactors, munitions, all kinds of stuff. Some of the things I saw, it was just like out of one of the old Captain Thunderclap serials. So, superhero shit. The war room. Delirium reactors. You better believe it. A reactor like this must put out as much juice as the Hoover Dam. Really? And a nuclear blast. Let's get out before the whole place comes down. Apparently, Illyrium is far more um, getting closer. dangerous than we thought. Let's take them down. They're on the defensive. We gotta get in there and help. God damn it! Oh, I gotta get up now. Pushing the bell. down Nils Clyde going stealth Ben Get, Get back here that. Critical strike that way. Good job, Nils. Guys, you got this. You're okay, Nils. Focus on that one. 
focus on that target. Right, got him. That's the last one. Good job, guys. Let's stay together here. Heading back to you. I were making bombs with the Illyrium. Yeah, nuclear bombs. What were they building down bigger here? Bigger than any nuke we have now. Way bigger. Weapons fabrication. No end to the things Illyrium could do there. On you! Anything we can use. Not unless you want to carry a bomb. God damn it. This Illyrium shit is, uh, serious business. They're digging? Why? What are they doing? This place is coming down. We gotta get the hell out of here. First we save the brass, then we evac. The fuck is that? The war room is just ahead. What happened in here? Nothing good. Move. Graves, stay alert. Director Falk has been nothing less than a KG as regards to the findings of the team at the Operation Montana. The director has flat out ignored requests to deliver the apparatus uncovered at the Bannock Mines to our laboratories here at Fort Groom. He claims to have secured an artifact at an undisclosed facility, the whereabouts of which is so highly classified that I can't even verify the place even exists. Falk is protected all the way up the chain, well beyond my pay grade. I've informed him repeatedly that the request to transfer the object still comes down to you, sir, but he still refuses to acquiesce. I've done all I can, Colonel Weatherfrog. That sound, isn't that the sound that was being played on the uh, radars earlier? Activates the sleeper agents. General Deans, are you all right, sir? Where's Falk? What happened here? I'll ask the question, son. Yes, sir. Director Falk is at the rail platform. Our orders are to escort you there immediately. Then lead the way. General! Clear the target, now! That's not Deems! He's one of them! Nils, get back! Just hang on, sir. It's gonna be... Okay! Well, then. Why did you stop me? What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking that I just saved your life. You shot a general. You ambushed a four-star general. How do you expect me to react? They can control us. They get inside you, and they control you. Deems is dead, and we don't have time to waste. What happened to the rest of the leadership? They were dead when I got here. What about Agent Weaver? I thought Agent Weaver was sent here to guard them. I am Agent Weaver. Angela Weaver. And that infected bastard was already here when the fighting started. Why didn't you stop him before? You knew that he killed Hoover and the others. You could have taken him out earlier. I was going to, but he was resisting their control. He might have been able to fight it off. I shot him to stop him from killing the three of you. What caused him to change? One of their puppets attacked me earlier. What's causing this? I'm not sure, but obviously it's connected to this attack. We've been tracking cases like this for years. We'll sort this out later. We have to get out of here. Falk ordered us to bring any survivors to the rail platform. The diesel will only get you as far as the test site. Can we radio for evac from there? We're nearly out of time. Get to the rail platform and head out to the test site. I'll call in a Sky Ranger, collect Falk, and meet you there. If you can't reach the test site, we'll have no choice but to leave without you. Alright. General Deems. I can't believe this. All of them. Dead. Dude, that one was close. Falk is. Jesus. The hell? That. Some kind of power source. Like those reactors back there. Those were bombs they were launching into the ground? No, I think they have other plans. They're launching reactors into the ground. They want to lift this? the whole facility, Keep maybe? Moving. There it is. The rail platform. Ah, shit! 
Outsiders on the rail platform. Carter, what do we do? We go through them. Ready your weapons. Alright guys, I want you to move Get right here, then critical strike, Finish that guy. Off. You, I want you to move. Here. And also Attack. target that guy. Done and done, guys. Let's get out of here before this whole place comes apart. Group, fellas. All right, on my way. This will take us Eight. to the test site. What are we waiting for? Come on, Carter. All, of All aboard Maybe. to the test site. Too fucking close. Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the diesel to the test site and signal us when you arrive. Oh no. I didn't like that. Uh-oh. Hold on to something. Look at that thing. It's a magnetic field. It's drawing everything in. You two, hang on. Damn it, damn it, damn it, this does not look good. Can't this thing go any faster? Guessing the whole mountain base is going to capsize in on itself? Yep. It's like a mini black hole. Hard to ignore the existence of aliens now when you got a mountain that's a giant glowing hole. Should be a radio up there. I just hope they haven't left yet. An M fourteen A sniper Carter, rifle. Radio in and let's get out of here. I don't mind sniper rifles. One moment. My phone keeps going off. Sorry about that, just had to check my phone, but we are back in the game. I don't like how much ammo there is up here. It's giving me a bad feeling about this. Fuel system ready, guidance system ready, launch release locked. So we can't fire it, that's good. Where's this radio? Is. It was right there where I was in the beginning. Falk, Agent Weaver, anyone? Copy, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger 1 reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound to your location. Um. Niles. No, 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 no. Don't go. Don't do that. Don't do that. Up, back up. Back up. Stay up top, but go right there. there. On my way there. Kenny, go Move. there. I don't like.
like the look of that bomb up there. Would you rather head back to the base? Should be fine. As long as we don't start any tests. Right? Here they come! Let's go to the base! They're down below! Let us know where you want us, Carter! Pin down! Okay. Um... You, shoot that barrel. Attack! I'm up! Um, Kenny, I want you to get head down Cover right there. there. I'm on my way! Hold up as good as you want. You ain't doing nothing to me. And stay down. Where's Bob? Can you see him? Oh shit, oh shit. Kenny, 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 Kenny. Come on, Falk. Come on. Get behind that. On Get back way. there and then Focus fire at that, that oil drum. So I have magic healing abilities? Cool. Carter, what do we do? We fire. There's a downed barrel right there. Is that all of them? Carter, we're seeing enemy forces inbound to you. These fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Blast radius? Carter, what are you... I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep him from following us. And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Range is built for speed, but it's no match for those outsider ships. All right, do it. Nice. Good. Let's give those bastards something to remember. Grab my M14 again. Listen, we're not safe and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say, and we'll get through this. Yes, sir. We're with you, Agent Carter. Oh shit! Oh shit, they're up here, they're up here. I will do a heal. You get away from there. Oh shit, there's one beside me too. They're everywhere. Get behind cover. Going now. Sky Ranger to Carter. Agent Carter, respond. This is Carter. Cutting it close, aren't you? We're coming in. Get on board. 
Where's Agent Kenny? Where's Kenny? He's alive, okay. Is it? Oh shit, it's back there. On me. Keep the pressure on him. Damn it. I didn't realize it was right behind us. Load last checkpoint. <laughs> Come on back, gentlemen. Yeah, I'm right here. I need a better gun. I need my M14 back. <clears throat> Are you really going to start the test sequence, Carter? Listen, we're not safe and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say, and we'll get through this. Yes, sir. We're with you, Agent Carter. More inbound! We got it, Gunner! Aren't you? We're coming in. Get on board. That one's down. All right. Keep the pressure on him. And then everyone, let's go. Holy shit. Right, guys well let's take a look at uh what we can check squad status carter got 44 kills and is rank one the other two are rank five which is nice i wasn't getting any experience for them because they weren't actually part of my party they were just temporary guys i acquired an m14 a frag grenade a shotgun a sniper rifle a standard pack of uh ammo and a machine pistol Killed 36 sectoids, two gun turrets, 31 outsiders, and three drones. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number three. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it. You're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. 
Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Now don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Our office is right over here. Nicholas that De Silva. Weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. Uh, and one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. You read my file? How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us, too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know? Ain't that the truth. Tell me about the organization. You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, Falk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. I'll talk to you later. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. <laughs> he like doesn't the director's about to start. care Come that on. I prefer let's get the good seats. William. Well, let's read up on Nicol De Nico De Silva. Born in 24 in Baltimore to Catherine and Sylvester. He's been, uh, went to international law, but did not complete it. He's divorced. His mother and father are dead. He has an ex-wife living in Washington. A son who he doesn't speak to in Washington. And an illegitimate daughter living in New York. He joined the police department first. Uh, advanced to deputy sheriff with high commendations of field work. Began to pursue career for FBI as legal. He discovered that he had not completed his, uh, JD degree having dropped out of college due to financial concerns and falsified his credentials. He lost his job and was quickly led to the collapse of his marriage. The FBI was impressed with his record with the police department and his interpersonal skills, and they recruited him as a probationary basis. He received a small degree of fame for a single-handed arrest of a bank robber, K.D. Carpenter. He was constantly demoted back to probationary agent due to various moral concerns about his activity when off-duty. Uh, he and a jazz singer assaulted an officer. They moved him out of visible work, and he's been reassigned to work at the Bureau as a covert agent. Huh. He's got a colorful past. 
Well, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, we've gotten ourselves to the base, and we've learned quite a bit about what's going on. Well, not so much learned about what's going on, but about the place that we will go to prevent it. Oh, there's my profile. So I can learn about me. I've got bachelor's in engineering. Uh, my mother and father are both dead, as is my wife and my son. My m wife and son both died in the 59. I joined the army. I was in Pearl. I uh, enlisted shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor. I was in the Pacific Theater, earned the rank of Master Sergeant. Returned to college on the government's dime. Then graduating, the CIA recruited me as a field operative. Quick thinking and bravery. I excelled at deep covert assignments, serving for weeks or months at a time in Indochina and the USSR. In 59, during a deep cover assignment, a uh, fire at his family home killed his father, wife, and son. Uh, Carter did not learn about the tragedy until he returned in 1960. Uh, he both blames himself and the agency for the tragedy, and it led to him drinking a lot. So he's an alcoholic. Mirren, this one's aggressive, temperamental, and defensive, but he gets the job done. I don't recommend him, but the Bureau is your department. If you insist on him, I don't recommend a long-term position. This man used to be a hero, but he's been, now he's busy destroying himself. He's not useful for as much more except an expendable asset, J. Edgar Hoover. So Hoover doesn't like me. All right, well, that's now that we know a little bit about my alcoholic past and the uh, fire that killed my family, and we know about uh, Nico's colorful history... I'm going to call it wraps here today, and we will see you guys Monday on our next episode of The Bureau, XCOM Declassified. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.